Well, today we are learning all about the creations of a legendary Renaissance artist. Joe is joining us now in the studio to tell us about a new exhibit at OMSI. Good morning. Good morning, Kim and Shana. Yeah, so painter, inventor, engineer, architect, those are just some of the titles that you can apply to Leonardo da Vinci. And now you can visit his unique intersection of art, science, and imagination. Well, if you know this lovely young lady, then you also know the namesake of this new exhibit at OMSI, the world of Leonardo da Vinci. This is Andrew Haight. Andrew, Leonardo is the definition of a Renaissance man. Of course, a great painter, a great artist, but there's so much more to the man, and that's what we see here at OMSI. It's really exciting that we can see both reproductions of his, of his designs and some of uh, the reproductions of his famous works, like the, uh, the Last Supper behind us. People took a look at his drawings. This is a group in Milan, the L3, the Leonardo III Institute, and they imagined how those drawings might be produced using 14th, 15th century techniques. So some of Leonardo's most famous sketches were of flying machines, and we're talking centuries before the Wright brothers or anybody else ever flew. And Andrew, these are what his actual devices would have looked like if they were made. That's right. Leonardo rarely actually made any of the things he sketched. So in some cases, these might be the first time these things were ever actually put together. Some of them are true scale, some of them are scaled down smaller. You can actually see up there the tiny person in that winged machine. So you can imagine just how big that would have been if it were built to real scale. The breadth of da Vinci's imagination knew no bounds because he's designing flying machines over there and in here it's musical instruments. It's astonishing, isn't it? The amount of creativity, the amount of willingness to try new things. And here we see uh, a reproduction of one of his organs, what he imagined as an organ. We also see a, uh, a drum. This right here is a harpsichord, but what's interesting, it's a harpsichord that you essentially strap to your body and you can move around and play. It kind of reminds me of those keyboard guitars that were popular in the 80s. I don't know if you remember them. Leonardo was ahead of his time. This undoubtedly the most priceless part of this exhibition, these are actual drawings from Leonardo da Vinci. That's right, these are over 500 years old and they rarely leave Milan. They, um, this is the first time this exhibit's shown in the Pacific Northwest. Now if you look in the left hand corner of this drawing, you'll see a ladder, well check this out. They've actually taken that ladder and made it into reality. Tell us about it. Right, so Leonardo was always thinking about the everyday man and how he could make their lives easier. So he took this ladder and he thought, huh, how can I make it easier to get around our job site? So it folds right up. You can tuck right under your arm, over your shoulder, and off you go to your job. We saw his flying machines, but Leonardo, also a man of the sea, he designed a number of boats. Yeah, that's correct. This is an early paddle boat or pedal boat powered by someone sort of walking in an elliptical or, or marching type motion. I could totally see someone paddling this down the Willamette River. <laughs> I know, it's so true, right. Speaking of which, you can actually take this thing for a test drive. The world of Leonardo da Vinci now open here at OMSI, and it runs throughout the summer. We'll have more information at kptv.com. Okay, where's reverse on this thing? <laughs> it's a masterpiece. Leonardo famous for his art. There's yeah. a number of uh, areas there as well that go into his art, exploring the Mona Lisa. And there's actually two versions of The Last Supper, his famous painting, where one, you kind of see what it was like when he made it, because that painting has faded a lot over the yeah. years. Uh, and you know, then there's another really big display, and I showed it there, where if it was made with like modern day painting techniques, and you can kind of see a big difference between what he did 500 years ago and what's wow. available now. But it is really incredible to just think that all of these amazing creations came from one person Person's mind. Right. It's really you know what, Jojo, we all grew up seeing the drawings. Yes. You know, we grew, grew up learning yeah. about it and to see them come to life. Actually, like in that, person, that, it blew me away when cool. I walked into that room yeah. and I saw like those flying machines because I'd seen a million pictures sure. of them. Oh, yeah. To actually see it in person, in some so cases, cool. life size. Get to goosebumps. Yeah. yeah crazy. Thanks, Thanks Joe. Joe. Mm -hmm.